All right, next, let's clean it up and then get ready to duplicate this. So first, I can see that this shaft doesn't go all the way through and these pins don't stick out, but in mine, the shaft goes all the way through and these pins are sticking out. So I just click here and I'm gonna go minus, just to bring it back one, just like that. And with this, minus, and then minus, looks like minus, minus, and one more. There, I think we're, I think we're there. Now, let's duplicate this. Watch close. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna drag this back over. I'm gonna go to groups. Because what I need to do now is create a group out of this assembly. To do that, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit using this button here, select an area, I click on it, and I'm gonna select all of this. With everything selected, I'm now gonna create a group right here. There's that group, and I could call it whatever I wanted to if I wanted to double click on it. I could name this group um, right side or something like that. And now, I'm gonna use this tool here, the duplicate or clone. I'm gonna click on that. And it says selection duplicated. Now I'm gonna use this tool here, translate, and I'm gonna drag it out. Now a couple things I wanna point out. You can see here, here's right side, here's right side copy. So I could rename this if I wanted to, double click on this and I call it left side. So I now have a right side and a left side. But I need to turn this whole thing like that and then bring them together. There. Now, how does that look? <clears throat> uh -huh, looks like we have a problem here with this one. That's all right, we can quickly deal with this. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna hide it. And I'm gonna hide this one also. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna flip it, let's see what that does. That looks good. And now, <clears throat> I'm gonna select this, and I wanna rotate this like that. Whoops, I selected the wrong one. That's right, because I can just pull this down. And again, make sure that you're getting these lined up accurately. And there we go. And now I show all. And we now have a right side and a left side. Now I want to bring these two together, so I'm going to select this. Now you see how I'm selecting just individual parts? That's because over here I need to lock this down. What locking does is it allows, when I select any part, it selects the entire group. If I unlock this, I can select individual parts. But I don't want that to happen, so I want to do this. And now I'm going to bring this over so that it meets perfectly in the middle. 